Oh my gosh, it's been amazing. It's been so fun. It like, it's so, we actually uh, send like all the edits that are being made to the group chat, like back and forth. And like, we pin our favorite ones against each other. Or at least that's what I think we're doing in like <laughs> my head. Yeah. It's so fun. It's been so cool seeing all the fans reaction and everything because like, a good like a decent chunk of the fan base is like gen z shout out all my millennials like shout out millennials i love you so much and so bad but because every like a lot of people are gen z it's like they just they make jokes that i get and it's so funny it's so funny oh, so the amount of times that i've seen like guys like dior needs to come home like the kids miss her it's actually insane and hilarious but i love it so much So I knew I was going in for Clar Clarice. It was a really funny story, actually. One of my friends, like a, like a couple months before I got my audition, was auditioning to be in the show. And I was reading with them for their audition and I was like looking at the script and I was like, oh, this would be so cool to audition for, but I don't know if I would be like the typical pick. Like, I don't know if I would get an audition for this. And then lo and behold, I did. And so from that moment, I felt like it was a sign and like I knew I had to go hard. It was, it was so fun. It was an amazing audition process, yeah. As much as I love and hate to say it, we definitely um, are parallels. Like we are the same person a little bit low key. I don't like making people feel bad as much as she does. <laughs> um, but yeah, we both, I mean, I'm half Persian, so we get a little feisty. You're just a child of Aries through and through. <laughs> Wait, but no, my mom is an Aries, like astrologically as well. Mm. So it, I was kind of just born for this, if I'm being honest. You're It is such a complex situation. It is such a complex situation. I mean, for Clarice, it's like, I'm my father's favorite daughter, but the issue with that is, is that I'm still a girl, I'm still a daughter. And along with that, he doesn't really like his kids to begin with. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. so it's just, a, it's a constant like battle of like hating him, but needing his validation and wanting to please him so bad because it's the only thing that I've ever known. And as soon as I, and I'm a year rounder at Camp Half-Blood, so it is my identity, it is who I am. And without my father's approval, I'm nothing in my mm -hmm. own brain. It's like this like sick, twisted, like toxic uh, mindset of just needing and wanting his approval, but knowing that I'll never be good enough, but still like killing myself trying because mm -hmm. it's the only thing that matters. I guess people weren't like aware that I was like gonna scream so loud <laughs> um, that uh, one of my uh, goons that was dead or like unconscious, like she thought that something had happened. I think she thought like I broke like my arm or something like that doing the fall. And she got up and like, you can see it. Like you can see her like pop her head up. <laughs> but yeah, no, the scream was planned and um, it was so good. Yeah, we're not at all. <laughs> it felt, it was so fun. It was so fun. Um, it was like, we all had this sense of like urgency. Like we knew what we came here to do, but we'd also have those moments where we kind of just look at each other and be like, okay, like, let's just be kids. And mm -hmm. it was just, it's the best. Everybody got on so well, so fast, which I'm so grateful for, cause you don't always get that. And um, I don't know, like I, I, I've made friends on sets before and like, I've made like some of like my two, three, like closest friends, like in my life from previous sets, but Percy is like a real, like a family. Yeah.